So the treatment meeting occurs within 24 hours of the initial call to the crisis service. And within 24 hours, the team brings together the person at the center of concern, any family members, and any professionals who are connected to the situation. The mind is social, the mind is relational. We're not just isolated entities, but we're all interconnected. So so-called mental illness, it's not something that a person that's inside a person. It's a response to their experience of being human. So open dialogue is first and foremost a way of organizing a mental health system. And it's also a form of psychotherapy. The first aim should be trying to make a connection, trying to establish communication, trying to help the person to be heard and understood. I really believe, because I've had my own experiences now of a, a really approaching um, therapy as a dialogically structured activity and dropping the clinical gaze and just talking to people. And I think it creates a kind of openness of mind that people can sense. And I think it's very subtle, but it's this sense of withness rather than aboutness, of being with rather than doing to. And I think it's very subtle, but I think it's very powerful.